Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how guys test you before they date you. And I'm going to give you seven things that a guy might test you for before he will date you. And this is to look and see what kind of material you are as far as a relationship is concerned. So um, if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you go and hit the subscribe button to get more videos on how to have the relationship you've always wanted. So uh, the first thing that a guy is going to test you for is your level in, of enthusiasm for his hobbies and interests. Now, um, I want to make some clarification here because a lot of women think, oh, maybe I should be into you know, sports or whatever. Um, for some guys, that's cool. For other guys, it's not at all. They're not interested in that. What they're more interested in is you supporting their interests, your enthusiasm for their interests, as opposed to being interested in the same things as them. You don't have to. And in a lot of t cases, that might even be unattractive. Um, for some guys, it might be attractive. It just kind of depends on the guy. So the second one that a lot of guys will test you for is your level of sarcasm. And again, this depends on the guy. Some guys want sarcastic women. Um, some guys don't. Some guys are not into sarcastic women at all. And so uh, a lot of times a guy will just test and just say crazy sarcastic things to kind of see how you react to it. Are you going to freak out? Are you going to lose your mind? Um, or, or he'll... Uh, if he's not into sarcasm, he'll see if you're sarcastic and then be like, oh, she's really sarcastic and I'm not really interested in that, um, which I have seen as well with guys. So it could be either way. kind of depends. Number three is that he's going to test your personality based on what you are into and what he can find um, that you're uh, interested in and you check out and you watch or you read or you listen to like what kind of music you listen to what kind of movies you're into what kind of books you're into and so on because it, it kind of tells them a lot about your personality and it, and it can be fascinating too so the fourth thing that he's going to test is your sense of adventure and daring so are you adventurous are you just going to hang out and um, want to hang out in the house all the time, you know, and there, th honestly, there's nothing like it, it's funny because there's kind of like this um, thing in our society and our culture, like there's this one way to be. And it's there's not, you know, there's a lot of guys that are like, hey, I don't want to go out and uh, go out to bars. I don't want to go out into nature. I want to go on hikes. You know, I want to hang out in the house and, you know, uh, work on things or, you know, make food or whatever. I mean, people are into lots of different things. And, and so he's going to test kind of your sense of daring and adventure against his and look at to see if it's a, a good fit or not. Because if you're like crazy on the adventure side and he's not, then it, it might not be a good fit for him or you. Um, so, uh, but, but that is a thing that a, a lot of guys will end up testing you for. Another thing that a guy will test you for is your sense of, uh, family with, with maybe his family and how you kind of react and, and, um, interact with not only his family, but also his friends, you know? So if, if he brings you around different people and you, uh, don't like them or get weird or, um, they don't like you. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that's totally okay, especially with family. It's not, it's not always a problem if they don't like you. Um, because, uh, you know, family can be crazy. <laughs> and so, uh, a lot of times you're like, ah, oh, well, you know, maybe that's even a good thing sometimes. Um, but, but he'll definitely ask you, uh, he'll, he'll definitely test you with that one. So the sixth thing that a lot of guys will test is like your boundaries and, uh, how far you go with different things. And so he'll, uh, a lot of guys will even, uh, uncon sub subconsciously, subconsciously just push things in a certain direction to see how far he can take things with you before you'll say no, if you'll say no. Um, and you know, this can actually determine um, how a man feels about you and, and whether your relationship material or not. Um, and uh, it, if you want a man to see you as relationship material and see you as a valuable human being, make sure you have boundaries and that you stick by them. A seventh thing that a man will test you on is his 
uh, your tolerance for his independence. So um, a man, uh, you know, and this kind of goes with the last one a little bit. There, there's this kind of this weird thing that a lot of women and, and some men even um, think is uh, le- like when you're in a relationship, like you don't need any time to yourself or something like that. I've, I've heard uh, several women say that before in some of my uh, uh, groups and uh, social media channels and stuff. And, and it's kind of ridiculous, you know, like uh, the more successful a guy is, the more independent he's been in his life, the more he's going to need some time to himself. And, uh, or, or if he's a big, if he's a big introvert, he might need a lot of time to himself as well. Um, and, um, you know, he's going to test to see kind of how you react to that. Um, are you okay with it? Can you give him space and allow him space and allow him, uh, to be the man that he wants to be, um, without freaking out and getting crazy about it. Um, and so that, that's another thing a guy will test for to see if, if your long-term relationship material. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right-hand side of this video and go to our website.